They're a traveling exhibition of vintage items from the 70s, 80s, and 90s that you can shop. And the founders, Thomas and Anthony, join me now with more on how they got into this vintage movement. Anthony, Thomas, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. Yeah. So this is definitely a unique work, I would say, and so many of us are into so many different things, but how did you get into the vintage world? Yes, yeah, so we were thrifting when we were in high school, um, and so we just kind of became collectors over the years. And specifically with the Traveling Museum, we had a whole bunch of stuff. We were thinking, hey, maybe we need to offload some of this, create a store, brick and mortar a little more difficult to come by, didn't quite want to pop up. Mm -hmm. So we kind of settled on, uh, we came across this great van, and we thought that that would be a great opportunity to get into it. Wow, so it actually started a really long time ago in high school. You guys, not to date you guys. <laughs> a very long time ago, yeah. <laughs> not to date you guys, but seriously, this started, you guys were friends and you started doing this just really out of your love for vintage items, right? Yeah, so we started collecting um, for ourselves uh -huh. things that we like and over the last year or so, we've you know been expanding our collection. We've run out of room. Um, and also we've been having a hard mm -hmm. time finding the things we like. So we, we kind of figured if we wanted to get into this space, it would be a good opportunity to sell things that we like to buy to people who are like us. Well, we have to talk about the van. You guys have the van on <laughs> the sweaters, which I love. Get, get, tell me where I can get one of these things. But why the van when, when it comes to traveling with all the vintage items? I, we really just liked the aesthetic of the 1978 Econo line, which is, <laughs> which is the van. And everybody else does too. Everybody loves the, yeah. uh, people are loving the merch. People love the van when they come up when we're at events. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of has a unique look to it. And I think it just is cool and weird. It, well, cool, <laughs> weird. If, if those, are the, those are the words you're going to use, I like that. I'm going to use that too. <laughs> and it's, so we got it's cool vintage, van. yeah. It is yeah. vintage itself, yeah. So it, it kind of ties the whole idea in together. Yeah, it's a good way to attract people to the, the traveling museum. And they, they come because they like the van and they check out what we have inside. So what do people say when it comes to the tr whole traveling part? Break that down for us because some of our viewers may not even understand. What is a traveling museum? Yeah, people often come up and they go, wow, they look at it, they go, so do you guys travel? <laughs> and, you know, yes, we do. We do travel. Um, yeah. We're kind of staying in the Bay Area right now, but, I mean, we would like to really make it a true traveling exhibition, take it on the road, take it mm -hmm. across the country if we could, you know? Well, I think that it's so cool what you guys are doing now. Let's go through some of the items you brought with us today, actually. Some cool vintage items. Let's start over here. I see a stack of VH VHSs. I almost didn't even know how to say it because it's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, so th this is from our kind of outer space exhibition. Uh -huh. So this is all the stuff we've curated from, you know, sci-fi movies to, you know, real NASA history. Mm -hmm. um, the VHS, you know, those are kind of easy to come by. People still have their VHS, but you don't often see them playing anymore. Mm -hmm. One of the things we do in the van is we have an old retro television and every time we do an event we play old movies oh, in the van so cool. um, people come up to it uh, we find that it really helps conjure nostalgia in people and mm -hmm. they really enjoy it um, one of these other things that I really like are these glasses these are commemorative glasses by Libby Libby is a company that makes like mason jars now mm. but back in the 70s they made uh, these glasses for the Apollo missions with marathon oil uh, and these celebrate the moon landing. Um, and that one on top is a shot glass and also a regular glass. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, the bottom's a shot glass. And oh it's shaped like gosh. the... Oh, my gosh. Double duty. It's okay. shaped like the lunar module, just like the Apollo missions. That so. is so cool. So you guys actually, when you... You, you mentioned events that, you, that you guys put on. Are there themes to each event that you do? No, not exactly. So we do try to curate some things that are kind of mm -hmm. in a niche. But each event will kind of just be our entire collection, which is various stuff mixed in so like this space stuff mm -hmm. we have a lot of old like I guess you could call it like a road collection have a bunch of like old road maps and stuff like that so vintage photography vintage we do photography. a lot of yeah. Yeah, a bunch of cameras mm -hmm. we do have private events where we curate specific needs we did a Halloween party last week and we had vintage Halloween stuff in there wow and yeah. how was that when you when when somebody comes to you and wants to do a private vintage event how difficult is it to have to go out and find items that go within the theme yeah it depends so we have to you obviously have to talk to the person and figure out exactly what they're looking for so every experience is going to be a little bit different but yeah I mean it can be kind of hard to find stuff depending on on what you're looking for yeah well you guys also do vintage toys so people can relive <laughs> their their childhoods right it's true yeah we have this vintage toy from Hong Kong in 1981 Crazy. Um, one of the things that we like about our stuff is it still works. So yeah. you're more than welcome to shoot Anthony with this. Ooh, okay, 
no, I won't do that. I won't do that to Anthony, <laughs> but, you know, I will test this out over here. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay, right? I, I like that noise. Okay, so so you take pride in the fact that some of these old toys and vintage stuff that you collect still works. Absolutely. They still work, and, and part of the reason why we wanted to have the museum theme is that we love the history of items. Mm. Um, Anthony was a history major. I used to be a teacher, so we have, so like, we, we like to learn and we like to share what we know about things. Um, so I think that's what kind of what's kind of special about the traveling museum. That's what makes it a museum. Yeah, and if somebody has items that they would like to give to you, how, how does that work? We've had people reach out to us, mostly through Instagram. Um, we're on Instagram at Traveling Museum, and we get a lot of people that reach out to us to buy and also to sell. Um, but part of the, the reason we like the Traveling Museum is that we like going to museums, but you, you can never take home what's in the museum. <laughs> But everything in our museum, you, you, can, can, you can take home, you can buy, it's all yep. for sale. Everything in the museum's for sale. So. Well, I have to ask you too, what is it like working with your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> I see the chuckle, I don't know if that's good or it's, bad. It's very fun. Uh, I mean, we're <laughs> hanging out all the time anyway, so... Yeah. So it kind of just makes sense. Why we not? Yeah, do something that we both love. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you both, Anthony and Thomas, for joining us. We appreciate it so much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, yeah. Of course.